When it comes to playing professional sports, many athletes are lucky to make it to age 40. The demands of playing a professional sport cause most athletes' bodies to start to decline in their early 30s and almost all hang up their boots way before the age of 40. But what if I told you that there is a 52-year-old playing professional football and he has been doing this for the past 32 years? Welcome guys, this is Clam Pack FC and today we'll be talking about the 52-year-old professional footballer, Kazuyoshi Miura. Kazuyoshi Miura was born on February 26, 1967 in Shizuka, Japan. Just to put that into perspective, that was three years before PSG was even founded, five years before Ruud Hullet, who retired in 1998, was born, ten years before Gary Neville was born, twenty years before Messi came to the earth, and 31 years before Kylian Mbappe was born. What is incredible is not just where he came from, but the era he was born into. Japan was not the most ideal place for aspiring professional players, and opportunities to advance in the game were scarce. He played at school and excelled in all sports, but kept his dream of being a professional a secret to avoid ridicule. Until, at the age of 15, he left everything behind and moved by himself to Brazil to make his dream a reality. He began his professional football career at the age of 19 in 1986 as he signed with Santos. From this point until his return to Japan in 1990, he played for other Brazilian clubs including Palmeiras and Matsubara. Miura quickly became a star in the eyes of the Japanese and his rise to stardom coincided with the launch of the J League in 1993. King Kazu was named the Japanese Footballer of the Year in 1992 and 1993. He was also named the J League Most Valuable Player as he won the award in 1993 after scoring 20 goals and 36 appearances for Verdi Kawasaki. Playing as a number 9, he would drop into possession as well as run in behind. He gained most of his notoriety for his finishing as well as his flair and ease on the dribble, something the Japanese had never seen before. He made his international debut for Japan in 1990 at the Asian Games and never looked back as he would go on to become the second most prolific goal scorer in Japan's history, netting 55 goals in 89 appearances. The highlights of Miura's international career are the numbers he put up for Japan in World Cup qualifying. In 1993, during qualification, he scored 13 goals and 13 appearances for the Japanese. However, they failed to qualify for the 1994 finals. Then, four years later, in 1997, Miura went on to score 14 times, and this helped them reach the World Cup Finals for the first time in their nation's history. However, with all his accomplishments, what haunts him most is what he could not achieve, because in 1998, when Japan was preparing to take part in the World Cup for the first time in history, the Samurai Blue manager dropped the widely controversial news that Kazu would not be included on the roster destined for France. He was 31 years old at the time of his exclusion, and has stated that this momentous setback has motivated him to continue his playing career, even joking that he would still accept a call-up today. Across his illustrious career, he amassed a whopping 833 games across three continents in 34 years. He also represented Japan at the 2012 Futsal World Cup, starting every match, something unheard of for a professional player. He says that his love for the game, as well as his luck in avoiding injuries, has allowed him to play so long. But Kazu also adheres to a strict diet and workout schedule, tracking his weight and body fat multiple times a day. Kazuyoshi Miura holds the record for oldest player and oldest goal scorer in professional football history, a truly amazing accomplishment. Even though he hasn't scored since 2017, and he's appeared in just two matches off the bench for Yokohama FC in the J2 League, the fact that he's still playing at the time of recording is a testament to his physical and mental dedication. The road to success was not easy for Kazu. It took hard work, dedication, and the courage to risk it all for his dream. In the end, it was well worth it, becoming Japan's first ever footballing superstar and playing the game he loved far longer than even he could imagine. 
He was a trailblazer for so many Japanese players that have come since, and his contribution to the growth of the sport in his home country can never be repaid. There may never be someone like Kazu again, someone who started his professional career long before most of the players he now shares the field with were even born. A truly remarkable achievement. His contract is set to expire at the end of the 2019 J2 League season. There is no guarantee his career will carry on, but nonetheless, it is one for the history books and something we may never see again.